first Pakistani female cricketer breaks records. The girl who has made her country proud and created history. Keep watching to find out. Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. I'm Daniel Khan and you are watching Good News Pakistan. Welcome to my channel. Today I have good news from Pakistan's women's cricket. Muniba Ali had a remarkable day in her cricket career, becoming the first Pakistani woman to score a T20 hundred and the sixth woman to achieve the feat at a World Cup. Despite never scoring a T20 50 before, she smashed Ireland's bowling attack and scored 113 runs to help her team post the second highest score of the tournament. She pulled, swatted and swept the ball with confidence, hitting four drives through extra cover, including the hit that took her to the century. Muniba's innings was a display of her fearless and proactive approach to batting, which was also reflected in Pakistan's overall strategy. She wanted to bat through the innings and give Pakistan the ability to end the innings on a high note. Her teammates encouraged her to go for the 100 and she knew by the 12th over that it was within her grasp. She scored her second 50 in only 26 balls and a century in the 19th over. After her impressive innings, Muniba had to come out and keep wickets in Pakistan's defense. Despite the highs of her uh, century, uh, she concentrated on her task and helped her team uh, dismiss Ireland for under 100, leading to a comprehensive victory. Muniba cherished her moment, knowing that cricketers don't get opportunities like this very often. It's only once every couple of years that a cricketer can say they've scored a century at a World Cup. Muniba's approach to the game put Ireland under pressure and despite being dropped on 47, she continued to play with confidence and scored the first T20 hundred by a Pakistani woman. Days like these are special and Muniba's remarkable performance will undoubtedly be remembered as one of the highlights of the Women's T20 World Cup. Kudos to Muniba and her teammates. You made Pakistan proud. There are so many extraordinary stories of Pakistani women and I will bring them to you in my upcoming videos. Men and women have inherent differences as human beings and women are uniquely remarkable in their own ways. They possess exceptional beauty, strength and resilience and have proven their ability to accomplish anything they set their minds to. Throughout history, women have had to contend with societal oppression and gender inequality, but their determination has led to significant progress and paved the way for future generations of equally exceptional women. Let's look at uh, some eye-opening facts about women in the next segment of the video. Did you know the first person to make the daring attempt to go over mighty Niagara Falls in a wooden barrel was a woman. On October 24, 1901, Annie Addison Taylor, a 43-year-old school teacher from Michigan, plunged over the falls. She survived with only a small wound on her head. Did you know women can see more colors? Women have a larger color vocabulary compared to men. According to research by Brooklyn College, scientists asked men and women to break down the hue of a color and to assign a percentage to the categories of red, yellow, green, and blue. The results showed that women were better at distinguishing between subtle gradations than men were. This sensitivity was more evident in the middle of the color spectrum women were better able to distinguish tiny differences between colors that looked identical to men. And this is why, gentlemen, women should always be allowed to pick the colors in your life. Did you know women's brains are more intricately hardwired? An associate professor in the Department of Radiology at the University of Pennsylvania found that women's brains are more interconnected than men's. This means that women are faster at making important decisions and can adapt to routine more easily. But then we knew that, didn't we? 
And this brings me to the end of another episode of Good News Pakistan. If you like the video, consider subscribing and hit that like button and also give me your feedback in the comments section below. Until next time, I'm Daniel Khan signing off. Goodbye.